Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a quick demo on how to fix the internet connections that you're having. If you're having some problems with the internet, it's too slow, it keeps cutting off, it having some issues with it. Uh, well, you're in luck. There's a software developed by the uh, team of Late Chef. We actually uh, posted this as a courtesy now uh, to the public and user free license condition. Uh, so, how do we go about getting it running? So. Uh, go to latechef.com and um, scroll to the bottom of it. You'll see a link here, courtesy, click on courtesy. Here are the instructions, just if you want to read them step by step, but I'll just guide you through. Here you see the uh, link, download link, click on that. Make sure you actually save it. Um, open the folder. Shoot, sorry. Ah. Uh, open the download location so now you have it here cut that so that's the zip that we just downloaded and paste it via C drive right here so I already have it so I'm just gonna replace it <coughs> so once that's here you want to extract that once you extract that you'll see that folder here online open the folder and you'll see the icon here online double click on that icon and that icon will open a file right here that little red LED it might be green for you or yellow depending on the uh, status of the uh, software connection with the modem slash internet so at the beginning I, I, I would assume it's gonna be red because you know the, the, the settings won't be the same as your modem per se so just click on that um, once you click on that I'm just gonna pin this so it won't disappear all the time in the background you'll have two LEDs here one is called online LED so once it's green that means you're able to browse the web so everything is great you're running good so once that's green inevitably this will be green as well because network LED is the LED of your modem slash router so once the modem slash router is working correctly everything is good it's going to be green if it is red uh, if it's yellow actually uh, that means the modem is functioning semi semi well so what does that mean that means like your modem is able to give you access to the web but it's a poor condition so there are data crashes um, the catch is not as full or there's something wrong with it uh, so your internet is very slow but you still have connection if that goes red that means your internet is not working your modem is not able to function correctly so once that goes red inevitably the online will go red as well so how do we go to set this up click on settings and you'll here here have a couple options here okay how to set it up you have the IP address this IP address is not the IP address of your computer it's the IP address of the modem so to make sure that this is the correct IP address of your modem just cut it copy it and paste it in your browser and if that's the correct one you'll you'll be prompted with the modem settings on your browser so you'll log in here so once you log in uh, try to go into a couple options to set them up and uh, you should be prompted with the username and password so if you are prompted with the username and password then you want to enter them here some of the common one are admin admin or admin and there is no password for it but if there is you must enter them here correctly so once you have these three set up the next step is to test it to make sure that this software is able to fully control uh, your modem slash router so what you do click on test click on a couple of times because some modems they require um two three times or maybe one time so just in case run it three times no harm done uh, and you will restart the modem you want to make sure that the modem is restarting check it physically look at the LEDs on your modem and make sure that they're all like disappear they go black and then start slowly starting it up so um, once the modem is restarting then the software is working correctly but if it's not then try default to then again test and look at the modem again to make sure if it's restarting or not if it's not restarting the software, um, it has been developed and tested on the uh, the uh, smart RG 
505 and so if you have that modem then you're in luck then this is the modem just select the modem and then test it once you have this uh, IP username and password inserted correctly then it will restart definitely let's just say you don't have this this modem is actually the one that's actually being used by the uh, Canadian networks and American network providers in Canada it's a uh, tech savvy ACNAC uh, with the subdivision of the uh, Bell internet usage uh, and I believe in uh, USA the um, uh, what was it and uh, there's few companies in USA that are using it depending which one you're going for so this is mainly for the uh, fiber optic DSL internet uh, there have it's, it's a lot of issues with the fiber optic the new technology so the modem keeps crashing is not able to handle it but let's say none of them work for you so what you want to do is select the selection of the modem and then now you need to do the scripting at manually so default one actually sends a code command restart and default two send reboot so these two have been eliminated so you want to try reset possibly and then press test and check the status of the mo modem once the modem restarts then great you're set if it doesn't then try maybe re or start or our boot if these ones don't work either then um, I would suggest try to Google Telnet modem restart and then put the modem number you're you having here. If you can find the uh, command line to remotely restart your modem, I would suggest contact the manufacturer of the modem. They will for sure be able to tell you the command to restart the modem manually. Uh, remotely, I'm sorry. So once you get that script and you enter it here, you restart the modem. Great. So now you want to come back and you have that little checkbox for auto start so what does that do once the software is launched it will start automatically monitoring the uh, modem status and internet network connection if there is some issues uh, detected with the modem it will automatically pop up the black screens and it will restart the modem and try to clear the catch and so on and so forth to bring the modem to a functional state again <coughs> excuse me about that <coughs> so if you want to also make it fully automated so the software will launch on a Windows startup and start monitoring and fixing the internet connections mm -hmm. what you want to do is um, go to the folder again where the software is located uh, right click on the uh, online software click on send to desktop share shortcut you'll have the shortcut right here so cut that and paste it at the um, startup folder like so once this is there this will actually launch on the Windows Startup. Now, if you're running Windows uh, 8, you no longer have that icon right here. So, what you want to do is I have it here for you. You can actually use one of these two. Just copy that and paste it here. You will get into the uh, Startup folder or copy this one. If you're going to be using this this line to actually get to your Startup folder, then make sure you have the uh, username of the computer entered and yeah this will actually run monitor and fix any issues you're having with your modem so this will keep you always online okay well thank you for using uh, this software and browsing our site uh, happy cooking and uh, happy browsing bye bye